Welcome. I'm ready to go. Uh, I don't think so. What's wrong? Um, where should I start? Maybe your feet. Closed-toed shoes, missing. Long pants, missing. And um, I think I can take that from you. But I'm hungry. You can go change and you can look forward to this after your lab is done. So, food and drink, not allowed in the lab. Keep it outside, enjoy it after your lab. And one more thing, to go with your clothing, if you have long hair, you can tie it up. Better now? Yeah, but one more thing. Lab, lab makeover! makeover. Lab coat. Lab coat. Goggles. Goggles. Gloves. Gloves. Let's do this experiment. Not yet. First, your pre-lab talk by your TA or supervisor. So let's begin the experiment. The next experiment will be using a fume hood. The fume hood has a sash. The sash is able to go up and down. Sometimes when raising the sash up, you may hear a beeping sound. This beeping sound happens when you reach above the max height of the sash. If you are above the max height of the sash, the fume hood will not operate properly. So let's do this experiment. In this experiment, we'll be using a pasture pipette. Oh shoot, I broke it. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble, I better hide this. Where's the broken glass? You're I... crazy, there was nothing. No. I know broken glass when I hear broken glass. Oh, found it. Well, that's okay. Things break, accidents happen in the lab. We just got to clean it up. You shouldn't be afraid to tell your TA if something breaks. We got to clean it up and make sure everyone is safe in the lab. If you do break something, like I said, approach your TA or instructor and they will help you clean it up. Over here, we have a dustpan and a little broom. And you're going to use this to clean up broken glass. This green bucket here says broken glass only. When you break something, you've got to put the broken glass into this bucket. So when there's broken glass, you've got to clean it up. And then it goes into the broken glass bin. Like I said, broken glass. I gotta get rid of this stuff. Um, this is the broken glass bin, and it's broken glass only. Plastic garbage, gloves, tissue paper, all of that goes into your regular garbage. The broken glass bin for broken glass only. Accidents can happen all the time in the lab. In the case where you get chemicals in your eyes or on your face, you may need to use an eye wash. There's an eye wash at every sink in the lab. In order to use the eye wash, you want to first grab it like this. There is a lever that you're going to push when you are ready. Now, I haven't done this before, so here goes nothing. Well, I can tell you it definitely cleans your eyes. So as you just saw, accidents do happen. If there's something more serious, like a fire, you want to scream. Fire! Just like that. And so when you get into the lab, make sure you acquaint yourself with all the exits. 
the fire extinguishers, and the lab shower. Now, before I get burnt to life, I'm out of here as well. See ya! Remember, guys, safety first. Don't forget your goggles, lab coat, gloves, proper footwear. Common sense might be a good asset too. Before coming into lab, make sure you read your lab. And when in doubt, always, always, always consult your TA. See you next time.